Hey guys, welcome back to Fleet Friday. This week we're back on Roosevelt Island and we'll be taking a look at the Rescue Battalion. The Rescue Battalion utilizes a 2019 Chevy 2500 HD with a utility component body added on the back. The Rescue Battalion oversees all rescue operations throughout the city of New York and they are assigned to confined spaces, all kinds of collapses, train incidents such as person under train, derailments, high angle rescues, scuba, water rescues, person in the water, uh, major dewatering events, major power outages, major hazmat incidents, 1080 code 2 calls, um, they supervise decon ops, and they respond to 1060s, 1077, 1076 high rise fires, and all second alarms throughout the city. Take a look inside the truck here. This unit is staffed by the rescue battalion and a rescue operations firefighter that is hazmat tech level 2 certified. Got a flashlight down here. On the battalion side, he's got his MDT, three radios, his sock sheet, which shows all officers that are working in sock today, rescue, marine, and hazmat, his tablet and two rescue operation phones. In the back seat, they carry extra radios and their rescue operation tech jackets. Now we're gonna start getting into the compartments of the rescue battalion. This first compartment here, we have hazmat meters, radiation detection meters. We got an extra mask. This case back here, we got the Pappers, which are powered uh, air purifying respirators. We got extra air cylinders, an ABC fire extinguisher, and pressurized water can. In this compartment below, we have a mini cooler with a few bottles of water. Taking a look at this next compartment here, we have extra harnesses, gloves, subway emergency exit key, elevator keys, That's the bar for the tire. We got water rescue equipment, a torpedo, three PFDs, some water rescue throw rope bags. The rescue battalion does respond to a lot of water rescue calls, as well as where they are quartered. They are surrounded by water. So they have the extra PFDs for close proximity calls to the water and they have the ability to go on to marine units. The compartment below we have jumper cables and another flashlight. There is three compartments above that are used for extra storage. During storms they may add extra equipment. Taking a look at the rear of the truck Rear compartment, we have the rescue operations firefighter's gear. We have his thermal imaging camera, his hydroram, a bent tip nozzle, rope bag, his gear, his helmet, bunker pants, and jacket, his SCBA pack, a six foot hook, and a halligan. They have a pull out drawer here in case they have to map something out at a large scale rescue operation scene and an extra storage compartment for like shovels and stuff.
Next compartment here. We got some uh, hand towel wipes, extra gloves, an AED defibrillator, antidote kit, MCI, uh, EMS bag, post radio, which all battalions in the FDNY carry to help improve communications in subways or high-rise buildings. And in the compartment below, we have another ABC fire extinguisher. This compartment here is the rescue battalion's compartment. We have his flashlight his tick, binoculars, all his gear, his helmet, pants, bunker pants, his SCBA pack. Back here we have two lion suits, which are level B hazmat suits. Got a toe strap, traffic triangles, flares and these two compartments that one's kept locked uh, these two compartments are for extra storage here is a complete walk around of the rescue battalion with its lights on this unit was a previous EMS PRU paramedic response unit uh, prior to COVID, but they were discontinued. So now they were spread out throughout the city to safety battalion, rescue battalion, command tactical, and some EMS condition units. As I said earlier, the rescue battalion responds to all second alarms throughout the city of New York. They work closely with the TSU firefighter as well as the rescue squad on scene. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Free Friday on the Rescue Operations Battalion. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys at the next Fleet Friday.